Hello, it's me again. Um, something came to mind today because of uh, one of my neighbours, a very poor neighbour, mind you, um, was in tears and I asked her why she was in tears. And sadly, she's got herself up to her eyeballs and maybe over the top in debt. Something that the Filipinas know a lot about, I suppose. There's a lot of uh, talk about micro loans and micro economy, but micro doesn't matter how micro you really are in your life. If you don't have, you just can't do it, can you? If you don't have something, you can't have it. So, of course, the lure the lure, L-U-R-E, of a chance to have H-A-V-E for, in their mind, maybe nothing, is a great option that they like to take. This lady, who lives on, we would say in Australia, on the smell of an oily rag. In other words, she's really dirt poor. They live by the river. Her husband's a bit of a, well, I believe he's a live-in husband, but he's occasionally seen to do some work. But most of the time, he's a bit of a Tom Sawyer or Huckleberry Finn. He's just wandering around with a, a stick on his hand, either to get mangoes for free or to go fishing to get a few fish out of the river. But basically, he's a bit of a, a wasted space. Now, sorry about that. Don't mean to rubbish the guy, but some guys are really uh, need a shout out. But this particular guy that she's with doesn't really contribute much to the family. They have a child together, and they live in what is really only described as a a ramshackle hat, hut with very basic amenities. And when I say basic, sort of like. Uh, Tarzan and Jane. Not my Jane, though. Anyway, I don't think I'm Tarzan. But back to what I was talking about. The sad thing is that she wanders around the barangay selling vegetables, which is enterprising if she's not collecting rubbish from the local tip to then recycle and sell. But not everybody wants to go up to a smelly tip every day even if you are poor, when there's an opportunity to f wear fresh clothes and wander around the barangay making a few pesos. What actually happens is that you, they buy, many women, buy vegetables at a reduced price, hopefully, in the market. They have their favourite people that they borrow, uh, or should I say, obtain the credit to purchase these items. Now what actually happens often is that there is an individual that is fronting with the money for the seller of the vegetables. Then, of course, she comes along and buys her handful of vegetables that she will walk around and sell, for, hopefully for, a, a, she believes, maybe 50% more. One does ask the question that if a very poor person in the barangay is buying from her, wouldn't she be better off buying it from the market than buying it from another poor person and paying double the price? Mem only they know why they do that. But maybe that's the reason of this conversation. Because we all know uh, the word loan in the Philippines means free. It means thank you very much. Uh, I don't actually have to pay it back, maybe, do I? Well, what happens is if you go to any market in the Philippines, you'll find often an Asian guy, when I say an Asian, maybe of Indian extract or Pakistani extract. They're basically people who make a living lending money to the necessary people in the market who buy their goods to sell each day from another retailer and they make their profit. So each time 
a little bit of profit is made, somewhere along the line there is somebody lending them money to do that. Unless, of course, they captured the idea that when you borrow a thousand pesos and you make 400 pesos profit, of which you have to pay 5% of your 1,000 to the money lender and pay him back each night, what you have left is what you earned for the day. But that concept is extremely difficult for a poor person to get their head around. And this is why this young lady, or not so young lady, was in tears because she had one of those money lenders knocking on her door today. Another Filipina on a very nice motorbike with his bag full of money and his little notebook of all the money that's owed to him. Now I can see where her problem lies. She is selling the goods with the money that she has borrowed on credit to someone else. And of course, when the man wants his money every day, she's not got the money there to pay him. So it's a vicious circle for the um, enterprising or desperate Filipino trying to make the ends meet each day. And that is often the case in the provinces especially. As a foreigner, you don't have to be totally aware of what's going on, but you do see often when you're shopping in the market, a certain individual goes around taking money from these people and writing it in a book. And I have often asked them, is that a money lender? And they say yes, and they've told me. He charges 5% per day to borrow the money. Pretty good business, really, when you think about it. But is it? Because unless he has the wherewithal to get the money back from these people, that's okay. But in most cases, some of the people on the peripheral side of that business are bad payers. And you know what it's like when you're in business and you have a lot of bad debts. Uh, this is where you fall on your face or you ex exceed your anger level trying to get the money back. I was somewhat surprised today. I'm not sure exactly what the transaction was, but she owes about nearly 4,000 pesos. She handed him what I would assume is the interest portion of that and handed him 400 pesos in notes. Now, to my amazement, he gave her the change. Why would somebody who owes you money not, when they pay 400 towards the debt of interest, why wouldn't you keep the rest of the money yourself to try and reduce the cost to that person who owes you the rest of the money? Who knows how they do their business? But I'll tell you one thing, debt is a very big thing here in the Philippines. And it's very important that when you start your relationship in the Philippines with a young lady or a more mature lady, that you find out, and I mean honestly find out, all cards on the table, how much do we owe? And you may, they may look at you and say sheepishly, nothing darling but you know in the back oh what about that mm, what about the fish we bought the other day have you paid for that or was that on credit oh i'm paying for that this week and i think why wouldn't you pay for it as you can afford it do you need money from my money to help pay for those bits of extra food you bought these are the questions you need to clear the debt and clear the decks at the same time. So you start from zero, hopefully with no increase on zero. Just another food for thought, but I hope you enjoyed listening. Maybe it's triggered a few thoughts. Anyway, you have a great day and I'm going to carry on weeding out in the garden before Jane gets home to discover how lazy I've been. Never mind. Bye bye. Thank you.